back, my name is Newman and today we have a, a new plant here, new orchid. I'm going to open it up, show you. There's a tag here too, with all the information on it. If I can pick this up. Michinoku Run Center in Japan. Here we go. I actually got inspired to buy this because I was watching um, Andy's Orchids one of his older YouTube videos he showed this and I thought now that's a neat looking orchid I gotta get one of those and so I looked online and there was one available and I bought it and here it is here Neatly wrapped up, came in the came in this bottle here, plastic container. And now that I've unwrapped it, I'll let you have a nice close look at it. Does anyone recognise this? Pretty thick leaves on it, pseudo bulbs. Starting to get another two there growing. It's in a very chunky mix. Very chunky. I'm not gonna disturb it. I'm gonna actually leave it there. Probably put a little bit more sphagnum moss around it. Anyway, this is Bulbophyllum frostii, or Dutchman's Shoes. Uh, in the wild, this grows as an epiphyte, inhabiting evergreen seasonal lowland forests in Vietnam and rarely in Thailand. And it was more recently uh, reported growing in Yunnan province of China during botanical surveys in 2017-2020. It grows at elevations of 1,500 meters above sea level. It has a creeping rhizome, which you can see there. And the leaves are oblong, elliptic, purplish pseudobulbs. The flowers are about 2.5 centimeters, centimeters, and they have an unpleasant scent that mimics carrion, attracting flies as the pollinators. So cultivation of this is um, growing it in fine bark or sphagnum moss, but this one seems to have pumice in it, and often mounted usually on wood or cork thrives in high humidity with good ventilation and it's best if you give it a frequent but diluted fertilizer prefers temperatures of around 18 to 24 degrees which is 64 to 75 Fahrenheit and this I paid about $30 for it so it's a good sized plant. I'm just going to put some more moss around here. You can see how it's you can see there that I can put the moss underneath it which will help it keep moist because it needs to. Um, 
and being a high elevation plant I'm gonna have to put it in a um... okay I'm back I just put some um, moss because there was a big gap that you saw before I did this underneath the orchid, it was kind of floating in the air kind of thing, and uh, I put some moist sphagnum moss in there, which is what it needs anyway, and uh, I'm just going to leave it in this pot, let it do its thing, let it grow, um, probably later on with the soldering iron I'll put some holes in it so I can hang it, yeah. That's all done. Thanks for watching this, um, well, unpacking of a new orchid. And um, I'll be back again for another one pretty soon. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.